All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 horror thriller, more thriller than anything, film called Sympathy for the Devil, starring Nick Cage. And this is an in, uh, independent film, by the way. But here's the plot. Forced to drive a mysterious passenger at gunpoint, a man finds himself in a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, where nothing is as it seems. Now here is some of the cast. So even before I seen or knew anything about this film, I can tell you right away, I would not want to be kidnapped and had my car jacked at the same time uh, by uh, Nick Cage. I mean, he is probably the nicest guy in the world, but his he is just kind of a bit off. And this was so much more of a somewhat more unhinged. Nick Cage, and as it goes on, he comes more and more hinch. It was real good. He was pretty much going in and out with his Boston accent throughout the film. Honestly, the only complaint. And when he did do the uh, Boston accents, which was not much, for some reason he kept going, he wasn't that good. And I'm not really surprised, as Amer as he's American, I believe. Or is he Canadian? No, he's American, I believe. Um, this time, uh, it, his acting actually fit the role uh, so well to the point he was pretty creepy a lot of the time. This is an hour long and 30 minutes long film, not technically long compared to most films today. I would say half of the film they were in the car. I love the direction that the director went with the shooting outside and inside of the car and diner, including the angle shots. Uh, even close-up shots at points that normally can be overdone or can be underdone, but this is perfect. To be honest, I was more interested and taken back by Nick Cage uh, and character and acting than the story and the actor that played the driver. It felt like the writer writing focused more on Nick Cage than the guy. Uh, than the guy, more dialogue for Nick Cage character than the driver, but the actor that was driving did a great job with what he had to work with. I will say the driver's story was definitely stretched out and thin, could have gotten to the surprising part sooner in my opinion. And I looked up the guy because he looked familiar. Uh, he was in the Suicide Squad that came out in 2021 I think it was. Uh, he was, I don't know his character's name, but he was like one of the main characters. Um, but here's my reading, I'll come back to my final thoughts. This movie was wild at times, definitely one of Nick Cage's better films. That's three films so far in the past ten years that I have actually really liked. But, I don't un fully understand the driver's story that by much. It should have had more layers to him, in my opinion. But also, overall, this was a creepy but good film. I do highly recommend it. But what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, I am going to be having possibly more stuff coming out in the next couple of weeks than I normally will, and that's going to be up to three or four weeks. At least I'm going to try. Depending on what I have, to be honest, but uh, it's, it's just that there's stuff going on behind the scenes where I don't need to take as much days off. Um, shout out to my mother. I hope she's going to be doing well with her surgery. Uh, it's She's going to have a full uh, knee surgery, uh, re knee replacement. So, wish her luck in the comments below. Um, but most importantly, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Skull.